What's up, everyone, and welcome back to more Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, I got bombs. Yay, I got bombs. And oh my god, those blow up myself. Ow. Yeah, that was the. Oh, god. oh, forgive me. And oh, whoa. Oh, that's nice. Now the platform will go to the second floor, so in case you screw up and fall down again, this time you're actually safe. With that switch on, the moving platform goes higher. I just said that. Now you can quickly reach the second floor. I know that. What's in here? Giant dead or don't know. When it sees red, a new way to go will be open. And that's referring to this thing here. This is probably giant dead or don't know. And when its eyes see red, its pathway will open. So what you gotta do is stand on the upper part here and throw the bomb. And if you throw the bomb correctly, and I think I did, yes I did, its eye will see red. And that's exactly what he meant, so. I'm gonna do the same here. Oh, oh I f yeah, I failed and I missed. I'll blow up this wall first and take the little chest. It's irony that I had 69 coins all rupees actually all the time and I didn't even notice until I picked up the chest. Citizen! Anyways, now that giant Dodongo sees rat. This mouth will open, don't ask me how, but it opens. And I'm gonna do something cool. I should know, I'll just skip a lot of stuff. And I'll go straight. In. Oh, wait, more keys. Oh, that's why I can hear that there's another one. There is another one, where is it? Oh, there! Oh. So, in this is a sort of four way, that's the uh, boss. So, what we need to do is I'll go up here and make a little bit of a walk. Now, let's see. More keys. Oh, wait, I can hear one of those. Yes, I do. I am running out of deco seats, by the way, I got a freaking. 50 seed expansion, and I still don't know. There we go. That's a nice sniper. So, what you gotta do here is walk all the way here. And. I hope this works. Yep. Drop the bomb here. And once it goes up, you can enter this door, and I think if I recall right, the third and final is cultural item here. Can I snipe it? Yep, it is. One. Two. And now let's rush for it without even moving the statue because I think it's alive. Yeah, it is. But I'm quicker. Oh, oh, oh. And anyways, just for my pleasure, and probably for yours as well, the fire piece. Reaper, and ooh, that's a nice shot. Yeah, whoa. Ow. Okay, you're gonna play for that. Boom! Headshot. Now only got five seats remaining. Dang, this is gonna be tight. Hmm. Just go over here. And over there was a fairy, and if you. Oh, no, I really need those seats. If you catch a fairy with a um, house card. Hey, come here. Come on. If you catch a fire with a bottle and you die, it will automatically resurrect you and I think it will restore all your health. Which will be kinda useful later, but yeah. I don't really need it now. I think the dunk goes really well. So I'm getting bombs and bars, I need them. What you need to do is wait a minute. What you need to do first is take these out. One is there and that's a really nice shot. And the other one Though I missed three times. Four times. Five times. Screw it. It's really awkward. Sometimes I shoot in one shot and the other times I need more than five seeds. And I think it's approaching. Yeah, it's. Alright, bye bye. If you lock on them, it's really easy to hit and I will need those seeds. So, what I'm gonna do now is drop the block. In the middle. 
and there we go. Now the switch is pressed and the door opens. So, alright, boss time. Let's go. Now you're gonna notice immediately that you need to start off by bombing this. And let's see what's in here. More bombs, which I don't need. Oh well, actually I do. If you take a look down there, it is more lava and a sort of real one. So, backflip time! Wow, nice line. And that's not looking good. It is something really large. It seems really large and it's approaching. Oh. Hey there, buddy. How are you doing? Hmm. He's not pleased with my business. Anyways, this is King of the Dango, and it was really easy, actually. All you need to do is throw a bomb in his mouth and. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow. What you need to do is throw the bomb in his mouth and once it explodes, hit him with a sword. You shouldn't take that bomb, actually. Alright, this is. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, that was me. That was really stupid. In case you still had the shield, you really lost it this time. Wow, it's my first time I got hit by the King Dunga. Wow. You guys have forgotten to walk. And if you walk, you actually throw it. If you don't, you'll put it down. And it's not gonna get into his mouth on its own. So, it will go against the wall, I like. Open your mouth, buddy. And no, 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 no. Boom, and bye bye. And that's game number. And I took a hit because of a mistake I made. Normally, I don't take hits. But I decided to forget about the hook. But. And poor King Bernardo dies. It's not his face, but. Yeah. It's kind of what you get when you mess with me. You need to paint your mouth. So, having slain King Dodongo, we get our next full heart container. Which means I got 7 hearts already. This is the maximum I got since the yeah. I normally do 100% runs, but in a different order. I usually get the heart pieces once I get all my equipment and stuff. But this time I get them before, so... It's the first time that I actually got 7 hearts at this point. So we return, and front of the Dino's cover. And whoa oh my god. Hey Darunia. Can you please not fall so close to me in my head? It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to our uh, thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dino's cover until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dino suddenly appeared in such a great numbers. And a big rock blocking the cave. All the trouble must have been caused by the Chagruta thief, Ganondorf. Of course. He said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open K3. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like it. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony at all. Just take this, token of our friendship. And the Runia makes a large ball appear. Is he gonna do Kanyamiya? Or something? Or is he gonna make the sunshine? No, he's not. Because what he actually is holding and what we are holding now is the second spiritual stone, the spiritual stone of fire, the Goron's Ruby. A second quest on Well done. You obtained the Goron's Ruby. This is the spiritual stone of fire that's done with the Gorons. You don't know what he means by Swarm Brothers. But you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Good job. Brother, you keep brushing up on your skills. I should travel, won't you? You should go see the Great Ferret on top of that mountain. She'll power it up. Hey everybody, let's see our brother. That's not. No, no, that's not. Whoa, whoa. You did great. How about a big horror hug? Huh? How about no? How about no? How about no? 
No, I don't like hearts. Get, get lost, seriously. And for bite. Now I am gonna take the Rune as advice and go straight for the top. And normally I couldn't go with the best one that bombs, but guess what I got in the last episode? Oh, whoops. Almost screwed up there. One, two, three. That's for it. Because the camera decided to turn around for no reason and that one is too late. And that's it. Extra 20 rupees, thank you. And I believe if you go in here, there's a cow here which you can milk. Yeah, I know the trend, you can hear it. Anyways, the important thing here though, if you proceed to that mountain, you will notice that the mountain will drop and rocks will fall from the top. The only way you can prevent from those is having a Gideon shield, so you actually need them in order to get a little bit of okay through. Or you can just dash around like I do. That's what you Now it's really important that you shoot this one, and then aim for the second one, which is there. There is a third one, which you cannot shoot yet. So what we're gonna do is go straight up here. And A for D. Miss. Third one. And now let's climb up third. Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying. I'll again, I'll ignore him for now. Unless he decides to speak to me. And he doesn't. So that's good. Now, if you blow up this wall. And go in here. Go to the Great Fairy's Fountain, where we actually in, and stand here. Try for symbols, so that's an obvious one. As a dumb, dumb. And now, because we played Cell of Lullaby, we proved our connection to the royal family, and that's a good sign in this case. Who's that? I could have guessed. It's the Great Fairy, and she's covered in some sort of moss or something. And Link's like, oh my god, shield works, yeah. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> Welcome, Particle, I am the great fate of power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now, which is good. Thank you. And I don't know where those rays are coming from. I don't even want to know. What I do want to know is that my HP gets restored. And... I got... My hands up for the spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate once and press B for a quick spin. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. So surely grant you another new battle, which is good. And they, they all say this, when battles made you wary, please come back to see me. So bye bye. And now we got a match video, and what we can do now is charge up blue waves, and we can hold it, orange waves. Or just do it like that. It's blue spins, it's quick spins, but it costs no match power. And that's good. So. Before I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna ignore this all and go for a really short moment in the middle. Once again, for a really short moment, because your time here is limited. This is the so-called Death Mountain Crater. And Death Mountain Crater is intense hit, but well, I'm only here for this. I only got a minute, but I'm only here for this. For Gold Scotia. And I'm getting the hell out of here all day. So... I'm gonna ignore this all for this episode. In the next episode, I'm gonna travel probably through all because it's gonna be quite a walk back elsewise. And it's probably getting close and started on the side quest for the first spiritual study. So, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, sub. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, y'all.